In 2018, 14,238 vulnerabilities were released. Think about it. That's nearly 275 vulnerabilities a week that need to be examined, vetted, prioritized, and possibly patched. No one can patch all the open and critical rated vulnerabilities without abandoning all other useful work. The good news is that you don't have to. Research by the Scientia Institute found that only somewhere between 2 and 5% of CVEs are detected as exploited in the wild. So let's start the clock to see how we can prioritize vulnerability management using machine learning. At Black Hat 2019, the Scientia Institute shared Predictive Vulnerability Scoring System, which unveiled a new model to rate vulnerabilities. They compared 25,000 published CVE vulnerabilities between 2016 and 2018 against 921 observations of exploitations in the wild. Then they crunched the data using machine learning to find which aspects were signs of exploitation. Now we have clues as to which kinds of vulnerabilities to patch first. Based on the machine learning analysis, there were 16 significant factors usable to determine predictability. Of these, the four major categories are who wrote it, the type of impact, how the vulnerability can be exploited, and the count of references published with the vulnerability. In short, popular software that is easily remotely exploited to inject arbitrary code was more likely to be attacked. This model works by tallying up all these weights and adding them to a base factor number. You can use that number with a natural log calculation to find the probability. I know it sounds complicated, but you can plug all these factors and weights into a simple spreadsheet. Don't like math? Use the following rule of thumb. Prioritize patching software from major vendors that has published exploit code that allows code execution. Also, look at reference count or how widespread or embedded this vulnerability is across the technical landscape. After only about six references, the weighting for this factor gets significant. A simple, effective, and repeatable process like this can be assigned to less experienced security professionals or even automated. The EPSS model is definitely worth adding to the arsenal of security operational processes. Visit f5labs.com to learn more about prioritizing vulnerability management using machine learning and f5.com forward slash cert if you're under attack. I'm Peter. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you next time on 90 Seconds of Security.